All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Model Rock 321. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumb up button. Also, use the discount code, it's on the screen. I and underscore 321 shop sdsrockets.com. Use the discount code, use the discount code to get yourself a discount. Probably only work one time, but take advantage of that, help the channel out and help me out. So here we go, today we have an unboxing. This is a new release by Essie's. They sent this to me, like always. Thank you, Essie's, appreciate you guys. So we're gonna get this open right away. I already see something kind of coming out right here. So let me go and get this open. Yeah, did I cut it? Yeah, there we go. So here we have another Alpha sticker. I got one of these a little while ago. It's, on, it's actually right here, sitting right next to me. So I got another one of those right there. So now I have two of those Essie's Alpha stickers. That was kind of coming out through the through the box flat. So here we go. We're gonna get this pack packaged by look like Lilia. I think it's by packaged by Lilia. So that's that. We're gonna go on and get this open. I already know what this is. This is the Estes. Oh yeah, it's more stickers in here. More stickers and another packing card. So it looked like two of these packing cards happen but more stickers again Essie's logo sticker these are very cool I like these a lot so I got another one of those so two stickers and um, two alpha stickers now and one of those uh, the logo stickers but this new release is the mini Arcus and I'm definitely going to be building this and flying it I love the Arcus it is a research rocket an old school sounding rocket it's a US sounding rocket um, I've done some um some work on these a while I had the older one built not the older one the one by Aerotech um, I had that one built years ago and it crashed in Maryland I'll never forget I had a shroud line in between the cone ejection happened and never um released a parachute but it turned over and it destroyed that rocket so that was years ago but I do have one just unbuilt but this right here is pretty cool right here so we have the mini Arcus it says it flies uh, 550 feet Flies on the mini engine, it's pretty cool. Like a nice minimum diameter rocket. So it should be pretty cool to build and fly. It shouldn't be too complicated. I'm seeing a few parts in there. You know what, I'm gonna um, open up and we're gonna look at some parts on this one. Um, let me get down here a little closer. So I'm gonna open it up, I'm just gonna take a look at the parts. Yeah, it's 14 inches tall. Yeah, minimum diameter is like 0.74 inches, stream of recovery. So yeah, it should be a nice one. Let's, um, let's go on and get this guy open. So we'll get this guy open. So here we go. You have your BT20. I'm guessing this is your motor tube. Let's get everything out. Standard parts. Got these fins. This is all my fins and stuff right here. I believe the Arcus has a boat tail. I thought it had a boat tail. Oh yeah, I can see a little boat tail in there. Yeah, I see a little I don't know what they're called right now, but they like supports for the fins right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to make some kind of boat tail from what I remember. Yeah, I think this is pre yeah, that piece right there. Maybe a boat tail design. I just want to go look at that really quick. Yeah, yep, because it angles, the fins angle, so they have to go around that boat tail. Yep. So here they supplied a paint mass pattern. Fin alignment guide, shot cord, anchor, they call it. And the full size fin marking guide. So this goes around the body. All normal business here, nothing out of the usual. But yeah, this piece is unique. This masking um, part to get that red pattern done. So yeah, I guess you'll wrap that around there and get your paint done. Red and white design. Yeah, a few different uh, techniques here. They supply these fins, like I said, for them with a little angle. This little piece right here, what is that piece? Yeah, see, I'm trying to see what that piece is right there. It looks a little different. But yeah, see those um, supports for the fins. H, what is H? What is H? What is that piece? Not seeing it yet. Because I'm looking really quick, I may not be at a spot. Let me see, what is H? Um, I'm, 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 I'm H. Here it is, right there. Let me see. Repeat 404 fins using H to assist with aligning and spacing. Okay. Oh, I'm see. Oh, there it is, right there. So H is just like a um something to give you good alignment and um spacing between all four of the fins. 
So cool, this is a nice release by SDs. I'm pretty sure we have a decal in there that says Arcus. That's probably in here. Oh yeah, there's your little boat tail piece. Mylar streamer, nice silver Mylar streamer. I see the decal right there. Let's just keep taking a look. I'm gonna go and get this guy all the way. Look at these parts and take a look. A little deeper, got your tubes, fins. Make sure not to cut anything. So here's the decal. Yep, Arcus Atlantic Research Corporation. I believe they also made the, I'm pretty matter of fact, I'm 100% sure they made the Iris, which is one of my favorite uh, sounding rockets from that era too. I have a one by Binder, I think is it by Binder, not Binder. My four inch alpha, my four inch Iris is by Binder. That was my certification rocket. Um, but I have one by the Public Missiles. I think it's Public Missiles. They made a smaller one, a smaller Iris. It'll go good with this one. It'll be a nice one. I need to get that built. But there you have it, though. Um, pretty simple. Look kind of straightforward. Nothing too complicated. I mean, these fins, you got to make a boat tail, which they supply that part here. It's a little die-cut card. Yep, you'll get that folded around. Mylar streamer. I like that silver. Silver, you can see really well. I like the silver. Even the bright orange is good too. But yeah, all standard stuff here. All standard. Got your um, motor block there. Nose cone. Body tube. I like it. It's a good release. Good release. Good release by Essies. And thanks again, Essies, for sending this to me. This is a good rocket right here. Flies on mini engines. Good release. A nice mini um, scale kit. So. Most of the time they've been doing them pretty big, but yeah, this is a good one. Nice artwork. They got like look like desert out there. Yeah, pretty nice. Yep, pretty nice. Pretty nice release. They had actually skill level um advanced. They have this in the advanced category. But yeah, this is a um this will be a fun build. Fun build. But currently I am finishing up might as well make this give you guys an update on what's going on. I am finishing up my Saturn 1B. I'm gonna show you that right now. After I get these in here, Saturn 1B is coming along great. Um, close the blade. Get these out. I'm bring the Saturn 1B over here. So here's the Saturn 1B. It's going great. Um, this capsule was kind of like the last part I had to build. Got all the command module stuff built. Got all the uh, rocket motors built. They're all on. So we're looking good. We are um, pretty much um, winding down to just some more filling. I have to do some filling along a couple of these fins. In here I got some gaps, so it's going to be some more filling and sanding. Once that's done, I'm going to move on to um, getting the primer done. But we are pretty much at the point where we are pretty much done. Just got to get those parachutes built. I'm going to have this, the way this recovers is it's pointing down when it's coming down. I'm going to rig it. Similar to my little drill, I'm going to have it with a piece here so it will come down more like this. And so I don't want this nose diving, I don't want this rocket nose diving like that first. So I'm going to do a loop around and then get this rigged up here some kind of way, pretty strong. So, and it can tuck down inside the rocket, inside the body tube. So it'll be, have a little string on the outside, but I'm fine with that. And this seemed to work, um, work pretty well with my little Joe, my Mercury little Joe. Because I don't want the capsule, you know, pointing nose down and hitting. But yeah, once we get that done, I'm going to be moving on to the primer. And getting uh, doing semi-gloss white, semi-gloss black. And you also had to build up this piece right here. Um, I forget the name of this stuff. These are like attachments from the capsule to the command module. Had to get these pieces built up. I'm still doing a little sanding on those, but had to add these pieces. Um, and that part right there. But yeah, other than that, the tower's on. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. This was a. It wasn't the hard. It's a little difficult to build. I, I would say it's definitely a higher skill level of work to get um, to get done. They made nice. So yeah, it's all there. It's all there. And they hide one of the launch lugs in here. I kind of wish I went with a bigger launch lug in here, but this is the way it is. This is the way it is. I mean, it's going to be flying on a smaller pad, so I may need a longer rod, but. Four engine cluster, four C65s. I'm going to be flying it on. It's got to do some filling. I actually see some gaps in there. Probably going to get work on that filling here real soon. So that's one thing that's on the table. The Arcus I wanted to show you. Oh, this was a, another rocket to show you. This is the eBay pickup. 
So I got the gnome, flies 800 feet. Never forget when I was young, I had one of these. I flew it. I think I may have told you guys about this already. I flew it and it went into a backyard and I knocked on the door and they <laughs> wouldn't check, but I knew exactly where it was and I'm pretty sure whoever was in that house went on and kept it for themselves. But anyway, I got one again. The gnome was a cool one. 1980s rocket, late 80s, I believe. So it's a gnome. But yeah, this is a Model Rocks V21. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Use the discount code. Take advantage of that. Thanks for your support. Support the channel any way you can. Check the links below. Check my website. Check Esther's website. And um, we will catch you guys on another launch or another video. Stay tuned. It's Model Rocks 321.